What's up, y'all? It's Mulatto, Big Lotto. I'm about to show y'all my skincare and makeup routines. Let's get into it. So the first step of my skincare routine is da -da -da, cleanser. You gotta clean the face first, cool. Boom. I wet the face cloth. I have, I would say normal skin. It kind of just changes with the weather. I used to have really bad acne though, so I still use acne prone products. I like to use a washcloth too, cause it's exfoliating at the same time. Wet. Well, and just wipe the cleanser off. Second step is toner. This has um, vitamin C in it, so I just feel like it made me shine bright like a diamond. Literally, that's it. Next, I apply my serum. I just boom, drop on the cheek, drop on the cheek, drop on the forehead, drop on the cheek. At nighttime, I go serum crazy, but since we're just getting ready for the day, I don't wanna be too oily, so I just do not too much. Quarantine kind of saved my skin. I had time to, you know, backpedal and get it together. But when I be having shows back to back and photo shoots and music videos and all this stuff, my skin be like, help me. <laughs> Cause it's just makeup back to back to back to back to back to back. And then you be tired, you like, you fall asleep in your makeup, all that, you know what I'm saying? So skincare routine is super important for me. After my serum, I put on a moisturizer. I'm gonna use this primer to get my skin, you know, ready for the makeup. Protect the skin at all costs. After I put the primer on, I go into my eyebrows. They looking a little scarce right now. <laughs> so we are gonna fill them in with a pencil. That's what I use to do my eyebrows. So I just like kind of like underline them and I don't like when you can see like harsh lines. So I use the spoolie every two seconds to like blend it out. I do the top part. This is probably the most tedious process of um, this whole makeup routine for real because i don't play by my brows child i do not play by my brows eyebrows gotta stay on fleek okay after i outline them we're gonna go in with some concealer make my crispy and i'm just underlining the brow Okay, boom, then we're gonna go on the top of the brow for that extra fleek fleek. Starting so young, I always love makeup. Like I've been playing in makeup and wearing makeup since like fifth grade. So the earlier you start, you know, the more you know. But people be like, girl, how you know how to do all that? How you know how to do that? Cause I've been doing makeup before I was supposed to be wearing makeup. Kind of like take bits and pieces of other people's routine and see what like work for you. Cause everybody routine don't work for everybody. Just like seeing and learning. Makeup is like, makeup is about experience. You don't just wake up knowing how to flick your face. I used to do my own makeup for all my shows because I'm so picky with my face. Like I never found like a go-to makeup artist. We just gonna go back in with the spoolie and just Looking out a little more. I think this is good enough for my liking. We about to do some foundation, okay? Dip it in the foundation and put it on my face. Being a part of this whole like female rap movement, wave, whatever you want to call it is so cool. Like if you know me, you know I've been rapping since I was like eight, nine, 10 years old, like real jit, you know what I'm saying? So it feel good to have like, you know, be taken off and, you know, living my dreams at a time like this. 
because it's like you're surrounded by so many other females that's like doing what you do. It's kind of like a sisterhood, you know what I'm saying? Because the whole movement right now is female rap. So you got so many of us that's like different skin tones, different aesthetic, different accent, different, just whole different styles. We're going to do some concealer, like highlighting and um, color correction. Going back to when I was saying about like the female rap movement, it's like prime example of is the WAP video. You know what I'm saying? I know you seen your girl on a WAP video, Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. So it's like that female unity that I'm talking about. And Cardi, shout out to Cardi. Cardi is so humble. She's so cool. Like she made that that process just so like inviting. Wet her up. You see how it's just like waking me up? Casilla just wake you up. Okay, after I do my concealer, then I use a concealer in a darker shade. If you ain't ever tried this liquid concealer for your contour, check me out. Blend, baby, blend, baby, blend. It's time consuming, but you can't you can't cheat that stuff. I'm telling you, you can't, or you're gonna be looking a hot mess. So when I'm placing the cheek contour, I go like right under the cheek bone. So after that concealer step, you can kind of like wash you out until you put this step on there. You guys to snatch the nose together. See how my face just. <laughs> gonna lock it in with some translucent powder. And we're just gonna lock it in. This is like my version of bacon, I guess you would say. And it's just help your makeup last. You wanna know the funniest part about makeup is all the faces you make. <laughs> like, why are you making that face? Sis, it helps me do my makeup. Don't ask, but it just do. We gonna do some bronzer over the parts where we did the concealer, the darker concealer. This is Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. One of my go-tos. Another one of my go-tos. So we gonna hit the um, forehead. See how it just snatch your face together, child? We love to see it. We the people love to see it. Then we're gonna take like a big fluffy brush and just dust off all the translucent powder. We're gonna use a setting spray to lock everything in. Just gonna let her lock in place. While she's locking, we're gonna do some highlight. She's all crushed up cause she gets used a lot. She done been through hell and back too. But you see the vision. Like, look at that. Girl, this highlight I've been using for like years, child. Years, for real. So we're just going to hit the cheeks. Make like this. Remember them faces I was talking about? Make that look. We just done with the face. I ain't ready to walk out of the house yet. So y'all know me. I be switching between like my wigs, my natural hair, all that. But right now, I got my natural hair going. So, we gonna tame this mane, okay? And you know what's crazy though? Like, when I be wearing wigs, because it's like a, it's really a protective style. So, they be like, dang, how you get your hair so long? And it's really from wearing wigs, I promise you. I be using um like hair growth oil in my braids, on my scalp, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you just gotta, Wigs is already a protective style, so if you taking care of your real hair under the wigs, girl, that is gonna grow for real. So we go to a rubber band her into a ponytail. My little go-to is a straight back ponytail. Boom. And make sure she's super tight. For my edges, I be using Eco Style. 
This is um, the olive oil kind. You can just get this at your local beauty supply store. I ain't gonna lie. I'm blessed in the baby hair department. I'm blessed in the baby hair department. So I just rub them down. Then you take your good old handy dandy edge brush. Use the brush end and hit the sideburns. Hit the sideburns. Hit the corner piece, hit the corner piece. Now, one thing about me, I don't play by my edges. I don't I don't like all the swoop, 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 swoop edges. It's like it gotta be perfect. Edge fleeking is not for the weak. This is a sport. This is a sport. I'm telling you. I cannot wrap the video without some lip gloss. Any lip gloss is fine, girl. Just make sure you put on your lip gloss before you walk out of the house. Can't walk out of the house without some lip gloss, okay? All right, y'all. This is the final look. Hair, skin, and makeup. Thanks for watching.